It's the Morning Show, Justin and Bethany. Did you know that if you fly through Salt Lake City, you'll get to experience their brand new airport? The new Salt Lake City Airport was designed to accommodate 34 million passengers and it replaces the five existing concourses with two linear parallel concourses connected by a passenger tunnel. This $4 billion rebuild was a much needed refresh to the Salt Lake City International Airport. The two concourses are very long and could take you up to 15 minutes to get to your gate, so plan accordingly. A large part of the redesign of the Salt Lake City Airport was to incorporate art and sculptures that represent the geography of the state of Utah. One of the first things you'll see when you enter the airport is a glass sculpture named the Falls. The sculpture spans all three levels of the building and is made of both colorful and clear light sensitive glass that refracts natural light into ever-changing patterns as the sun changes positions throughout the day. Airline check-in and ticket counters are upstairs on the third level and from that floor you can really start to see the artwork emulating the landscapes of Utah. The main corridor connecting where you enter to the concourse is designed to imitate southern Utah's beautiful slot canyons and is appropriately called the canyon. There are 24 retail stores and 21 restaurants in the concourses. Some are common establishments like Starbucks, but there are a few that are unique to Utah, like Granado's Italian Deli, which is one of my favorites, and they've been making amazing Italian deli food in Salt Lake City since 1948. With all of those options, you'd think that our family would have a tough time deciding what to choose, but we have a tradition that makes our decision really easy. If we're departing in the morning, we love to go to Cafe Rio to get breakfast. This is exciting because one, we love Cafe Rio, and two, only the airport location serves breakfast. So it's something that we really look forward to. No breakfast for you? No, I got lunch. With more people flying with their animals, they do have a pet relief area. And don't worry, the people restrooms are never further than 150 feet away. I don't usually film in the bathroom stall, but look how much room there is for luggage and so many hooks. Thanks to the Salt Lake City Airport and Delta for a great flight. We made it to Orlando safe and sound. I hope Orlando keeps their monorails if they refurb their airport. It wouldn't be Orlando Airport without them. Yeah. Welcome to Rainy Orlando, Florida. Just tall enough. Oh, Avgo. Her nails. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video about the new Salt Lake City Airport and we hope that you get to visit it sometime soon. If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe and make sure you leave us a comment because we like to hear from you. See ya!